There is an old saying, home is where the heart is. And through your home, an expression of the self made physical. Yet the question is, when you enter your home, does the sight that greets your eyes make your heart sing or sink? Size is not nearly the most important factor in determining if your home has a spacious look about it or not. Much of this is expressed through whether your home is neat and tidy or cluttered and mismanaged. When people walk into someone's home, they will form an impression of that home and its owners fairly quickly. If your home is neat and tidy, your guests are likely to view you as a neat and tidy person, organized and efficient. If not, then this may be the opportunity for you to learn and understand how to declutter your home quickly while also learning the fundamentals on how to declutter your own life so that you might enter into your home and feel at ease within it. How does one begin the process of decluttering a home? First, you must decide where you want to begin. Which room requires the most work? The answer to this depends upon your family's needs and the frequency of traffic through the various rooms. Many homes have a specific area that becomes a clutter magnet, you may want to tackle this area first, as the result of your success will become more apparent. Once you have decided where you're going to start, you need to decide how you're going to proceed. It is important to come up with a methodical approach on how you're going to get rid of the clutter, whether it is by finding the appropriate storage or giving it a new home. You will need to start estimating the amount of time it will take for you to accomplish the task at hand. You may find that writing down your plan will help better organize this process so that you do not get discouraged halfway through or get lost in the minute details of each item. Systematic planning will help you stay focused on what job needs to be done and will provide you with a record of your progress as you go through each task. Now for the hard part. You will need to jump into the cleaning phase with both feet. This is the longest part of the project, yet can also be the most satisfying. Room by room, collect the stuff that is cluttering up your home and sort the various items into categories. For example, books, papers, clothing, items that belong to another room of the house, etc. These items will need to be further sorted into three very important piles. Keep, get rid of, and finally, give away. Of the things you have decided you no longer need or want, it is important to understand what needs to be tossed into the garbage, given to charity, or if the item can be sold via eBay, a garage sale, or to a consignment shop. Decluttering may take a few days or perhaps even months until your home becomes neat and easy to maintain. However, if you feel as though you're being burnt out by the process, take a few days and resume when you are feeling more rested and encouraged. It is important to keep the ultimate goal in mind, a decluttered home. Don't be discouraged. Before you know it, your home can be spacious and elegant, no matter the size. Are you ready to learn the tips and tricks to help you get to decluttering? Each chapter is designed to help you better manage the clutter in your own home and to help you understand how to declutter, organize and clean so that by the end of this process, your home becomes an oasis of tranquility and contentment, and most importantly, a better expression of who you are.